My name is John McLeod. I'm a member of staff here in the School of English at the University. And I'd just like to say um, a few words on behalf of the school um, regarding this evening's event. First and foremost, I'd like to say how pleased we are to facilitate this platform at the University to remember David's life, his untimely death and his legacy, something that's all the more urgent in the current climate. The school is honoured to collaborate with the David Oluwale Memorial Association and with Renaissance One in marking this anniversary. As many of us know, the School of English here is home to the Leeds Poetry Centre, a thriving hub of activity for the writing and appreciation of poetry. So an event that celebrates David Oluwale in poetry here in this university is particular apposite. And I'd also like to thank the Poetry Centre, especially its director, Professor John Whale, for its support for tonight's event. The school's recognition of David Oluwale is long-standing. Our staff and students have long been involved in researching and supporting David's cultural representation. A few years ago, my colleague Andrew Warnes collaborated with the novelist Carol Phillips in researching in detail David's life on the streets of Leeds, in Armley Prison, and in High Roads Hospital. The result, Phillips' long creative essay called Northern Lights, is one of the most significant portraits of David to appear this century. And indeed, Professor Warnes has been instrumental in ensuring that the university has contributed to the wider engagement in David's life that's been led by Max Farrar and his colleagues in Doma. In 2016, Andrew organised the Oluwale Now event at the university, which brought together writers such as Carol Phillips, Cassia Body, Linton Kwesi Johnson and Gary Young to reflect upon David's legacy and significance. As we sit here tonight on campus, it's worth reflecting that David knew the geography of the university area quite well. Our students who are present tonight especially might like to know that David lived for a while on Bellevue Road. He traversed the streets of Leeds 6, the heart of student land, and he walked across Woodhouse Mall regularly during his first months in the city as he travelled to his job at West Yorkshire Foundries or to have a drink in Chapel Town. This was his neighbourhood too just as Leeds was his city. In remembering David this evening, we have an opportunity tonight to challenge all those dismally enduring attitudes and actions that sought to banish him from the streets of post-war Leeds and indeed from civic memory. So in thinking of David tonight here in Leeds, we ensure that those prejudicial, unacceptable ways of regarding David past and present as trespasser, as foreigner, as threat, will ultimately fail. 